Hello everyone, so welcome to another Adventures with Clange. Don't forget if you like what you see, you subscribe, yeah? Otherwise we'll stop doing it. Well, we probably won't, because we're vain. But <laughs> we're off on another little road trip. Um, I've decided it's Claude's birthday on Tuesday, so I've decided to take her away for a couple of nights. We're going to a bell tent in the middle of the Brecon Beacons. It's going to be really lovely, really relaxing. Hopefully we'll get to play with some horses and maybe a couple of donkeys and maybe even a dog called Poppy apparently. I'm sure you'll get to meet her at some point. Um, but it's going to be a good weekend uh, and just a couple of nights. And then it's going to be Claude's birthday. Yay! totally tell the difference between England and Wales so when you come into Wales it suddenly gets very very green and very very sort of valley and mountainous and all the houses tend to change and you tend to see more minors ex minor houses and things which is quite lovely you know like you would in a peak district or something but it's really lovely and it's really beautiful and just everywhere you look, there's beautiful scenery, as you can see. Now we've entered the Brecon and Beacons National Park. What does it smell like? Trees! Trees, does it? Yeah, well look at you, we're surrounded by trees, it's going to smell like trees. Because you're doing my nothing. What did you look at the steep hill and thought? I hope we'd have to go down there. there. I don't know if we're going to turn around now. Milk! Milk! God, you two Milk. scared me then. Milk! Horses, look. I don't know, let me read the instructions again. We're at the right place? Yeah. Little birdie. Yeah. Oh, look at that lot. That's lovely, that Aww. is. It's right. Oh, a little teddy bear as well. Aww. Lovely. Nice, Let's do walk to our crib then. Go on. Welcome to our crib. <laughs> Go on then. Let's go and have a look inside. Have a look. Ooh. 
Wow. This is nice. Oh. Test the bed out. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That's me, darling. You can unload the car. <laughs> Thanks. So we have a pole. <laughs> We have towels and we have a bed <laughs> and we have the fresh air. Fabulous. <laughs> this is this place. There we go. This is the eating area. We have that. Little fridge. Five pet Fridge is done. Got some wine for later. Yeah, I'll boil. So Ange forgot my uh, sliders, so I've only got I've only got my vans to wear. So I've got a massive bitch fit at her. Just thought I'd admit that on camera. To have done a last round. Oh, oh we don't agree that we're about to do a last check in the house. I said to you, you do a last check in the house, and I'm going to finish putting the rest of the stuff in the car. After five walks, back getting boards in the car. Well, my knees don't work, do they, Angela? That's what happens. So I packed the whole car, apart from your sliders, which you forgot because they're your sliders, and you didn't put, put them in the house. I put them in all the stuff to go, Angela, but you completely just threw them in the living room somewhere. I'm just in my They're socks now. So they walk around in bare feet. Anyway, so we're at Gilfatch Farm in Senny Bridge, um, Brecon Beacons, and I've got a word of warning about when walking on the farm, beware of the animals. All horses are capable of biting and kicking. Word of warning. Bloody time, we've only been here an hour. So I don't know if the mic's picking it up on my phone, but we've got a lovely stream behind us which with the bird sound, the rustling of the trees. Uh it's absolutely I think we're gonna sleep really well tonight. Fresh air, blue skies, the moon's coming out, got fire. And just making a quick pot noodle snack. Look how excited she looks. She built the fire. I'm going to have cheese and wine later on. So today we've come to this beautiful place, as I said. Um, I've started setting up the fire pit for later. We have got some more logs to go on top of that. So we're going to have a fire pit later, which is going to be good. And we're just going to chill, I think, around that with some nice, nice wine that our lovely friend Carol introduced us to. Da, da, da. It's all for us tonight, Carol. <laughs> But I know you've probably got about 50 bottles somewhere if you've not drunk them all already. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, we're, so we're going to have some wine. We're going to chill out by the fire, just relax. And at the moment we're having a pot noodle. And I found these pasta and sauces, big pasta and sauces. Now, when we opened it, there was about that much in the bottom of the pot. And I want to open this pot and I just want to see the whole pot full of pasta and sauce. Go on then. What do you reckon my chances are? Ready? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not quite worked out, has it? Looks like a bit like sick as well, look at that. Oh well, there's toilets up the path. I think it needs leaving a little bit longer though. Guaranteed to ruin your insides. So let's now see, Angela Barker's about to do the second attempt. Yeah, the pasta was still a bit crunchy. Let's see what's happened. It's actually gone down. <laughs> Do you know what? It's actually looking more pastry and less creamy it's now. It's absorbing though. it now a bit. Yeah, wonder how long it's going to take. Two hours. 
Shall we see what the pasta's like now? Yeah. Well done, Ty. No, that's ready. So you're thinking underground green? I'm thinking you could easily get an underground greenhouse in there. Get rid of all this children's shit. <laughs> Don't need that. That's but quite good. Uh, I've done that with know, that. Get chickens in there. Get some fresh eggs. Yeah. Underground greenhouse in that end. Over there. A horse. A horse. A horse is over there, yeah. I'm just told it just there. It's alright, isn't it? No, I'm a fussy fuss. Right. No, I'm not a fussy fuss. Got scratch. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, that's hard enough, I do. Mm -hmm. Built fire. Oh, listen to the sound of the wine. This is a nice, decent drop that Carol introduced us to when we stayed at their house. And we're going to have a wonderful evening. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Happy birthday to Carl. Yes. 48. In two days. You don't look a day over 47 yet. <laughs> Funny, aren't you? So, not a lot of people know this, that watch our YouTube anyway, but I also run a company called Phoenix Flames. Da -da -da! And I make magical herbal incense. Look at that fire going on. Seriously, people, that's a good fire going on right there. Yep. Um, so I make magical herbal incense and I've made this especially for us to manifest our wishes and our dreams in this coming year. Okay. Ready? You've got to think about what you want. I know what I want. Do you know what you want to be? Mm, that smells so nice as well. Just when you want a dog to come, a dog comes. Poppy! Hey Poppy! Hello little girl! Come on! You're on the truffle shuffle now, aren't you? Pete, are you? You're a little Pete, are you, aren't you? Hello little lady, stay mm -hmm. away from the fire then. Not bothered. Come on. Stay away from the fire. Under cover provides wood. Back that same up. Back that same up. And she's uncorking a second bottle of wine, Angela. 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 Do you want me to do it? Nope. There we go. There's a noise that we're looking for. Oh, it smells good. Oh, suck on that cork when we run out of wine later. Can you tell them when to stop? Stop! <laughs> God. It's a good glogger. But cheers. Cheers. Clunk. No glass required. They do good recycling in Wales. Good recycling. Red teeth, red lips. 
found a tray out here. She's going to be in agony tomorrow after doing all this. There we go, it's all pretty in here now. And that's her from the outside. Werewolf proof. Mm. My fingers are burning away. My finger is burning away. Oh, no. Poor finger. I think it's time for a bit of cheese. What should we try? Let's have some sourdough. Camping cheese and crackers. Yeah. There's something very beautiful about just sitting in front of a fire in the middle of Wales having some wine and cheese and crackers mm. and chilling out by the fire. Stunning. We've got like a food tent there. We've got a bell tent there. Mm. And we've got our own private toilet too. We have yeah. to walk for it. Yeah. It's a bit of a nightmare, but... We've got a good toilet and shower. It's our own good. one. And we've got some rescue horses and the dog's been, but the dog's not interested in us. It wants food, but we're not allowed mm. to give the dog food. Yeah, but I managed to bust her for at least two seconds. Yeah. She's quite cute. I think she might be a rescue too. She's a bit mm. blind and a bit deaf. And yeah. apparently the cat has no teeth. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing the cat with no teeth. Mm. Yeah. What are you talking about? The wood? Yeah. You thought it could hide from me, did you? No, it's not going to hide nowhere. That's where the wine's having an impact. On Angela. Shh. Don't tell the world. Look at that beautiful sky silhouette. It's gorgeous. Moon above the trees. No, we didn't have your finger on that one earlier. Oh, there's not? No. Okay. But I'm putting that one on now. So the good thing about being here is there's no part light pollution. And you kind of go from something that's beautiful blue to dark night skies and you see the stars. I've had a better camera if you're at home at the And moment. it's just absolutely it's stunning. And it doesn't even feel like pitch black darkness here at all. But... That's the way the night sky normally is because we have a big torchlight which is called the moon which is very very bright at the moment. Can you see that on the camera? Yeah, there we go. And it's kind of lighting up everything. I know we have got a few lights about but it's really nice here. It's beautiful. You finished with your wine lips? I think so. I have got wine lips. It's red wine lips. It's a very good red wine. And I'm feeling a bit tipsy, and we have just eaten a whole pack of Gouda cheese. And, and what's the sourdough? Oh no, we burnt the sourdough packet. The sourdough stuff. Sainsbury's, was it Sainsbury's best? Sainsbury's taste the difference. Taste sourdough the diff crackers. Yeah, try them. Very nice with Gouda. Oh, good shit. Come on, come on, come on. So, Claude. Mm -hmm. What do you think about pregnancy and giving birth? I find the whole thing that a human being can create something and it grows inside them and it pops out, horrifying. Or, as I said to that woman the other day, fire's out. <laughs> Ring of fire, I've been told about it. Mm. Good for you if you want to do that. It's not for me, never have been, never will be. Same here. She looks <laughs> too late. Too late. That's when she pauses and I caught the film in. Oh, shit, there goes the pressure. No.